Well, welcome to RepFest from your house. <laughs> um, I did struggle a bit uh, trying to get these slides done with your Avon.com being down so often. Uh, so I had to be a little more resourceful, uh, look to my newsletter emails and collect information from different spots uh, since I couldn't get into the website. But uh, hopefully I bring you uh, kind of an overview of what we experienced and you can get a feel of what RepFest was like. Alrighty, so uh, how many of you guys plan on being there next year and are already starting to uh, maybe save for it or plan ahead so that you will not miss it? All right, yes. All right, Ellen, Ellen made it. Amy was not there. Hopefully she'll be with us next year. So uh, what I always say about Avon trips is that once you go on one, uh, you don't want to miss another one. So uh, any Avon events that you can attend, even if they're local workshops in your area, um, try to go to those because the, the amount of experience excitement and energy it puts into you to want to do more for your Avon business um, isn't really matched by doing anything else you know getting on a webinar or uh, having a conversation over the phone uh, it's just not the same as being at a live event so do your best to try and participate in all of those so we were in Nashville Tennessee at the Gaylord Convention Center. And uh, this may look like we are outside, but it was actually in the middle of the hotel. Um, there were gardens everywhere. It was beautiful. They had Avon banners hanging all over the place. Um, the, the revolving door when we walked in was branded with Avon. Uh, so it was just a really cool environment, and uh, yes, we did a lot of walking, but it was a really uh, super nice hotel. Um, we learned a lot of new information, and uh, there was music, there were dancers, it was really, um, there were cheerleaders and a band, so it was really um, a full entertaining experience. Um, they did a really good job of make, mixing in the fun and the learning. Um, and it really didn't feel like a boring conference. So uh, hopefully you can see that they had uh, live bands actually at the hotel. And then they did take us on a shuttle downtown um, to where they had rented out a bar and we had our very own special fireworks show so that was really cool we all got glasses and when you looked at the fireworks it looked like it spelled avon all over them um but then i found if you looked at a light it would do the same thing so uh, i think it was something with the glasses and not necessarily the fireworks but they uh tricked me pretty good there so uh, here's our team momentum dinner. It was uh, super nice to get to meet everyone. Um, it was difficult with how tight the schedule was to be able to get everything done uh, that we wanted to do. So hopefully, uh, through the movies and the follow up, and uh, you know, being on this webinar, that you get a full perspective if there's anything that you missed while you were there. Um, so this Saturday, they are uh, doing Avon Rep Fest at the movies where you can go to a local movie theater and watch an hour and a half movie about Rep Fest. Um, so you can find uh, the locations by going to this website here. Um, it is this coming Saturday, it's $10 to get in. Uh, one of my team members asked if she would be able to bring children. Um, you can, I believe you still have to pay 
for them to get in, but it is okay to bring kids. You will get a swag bag, $73 value. I think they'll be doing raffles and giving away some fun stuff. So if you miss Rep Fest and uh, it is at a movie theater near you, I highly suggest going. Um, if you can't make it, that's okay too. Um, so one of the things that I always remember um, when I go to these conferences are the messages uh, from the keynote speaker. Um, I still remember Darren Hardy's speech and Susie Orman's speech. So, so certain things just kind of stick with me. Um, this is John Gordon. I thought I had their name. There we go. Okay, so this is John Gordon. He's uh, author of The Energy Bus. So what I recommend is that you uh, look him up, follow him on Facebook, uh, look him up on YouTube, uh, watch uh, a couple of his videos um, so you can get the same message. Uh, his message was about being positive, and uh, I liked that he used the word um, energy vampires. So don't let people in your life uh, suck the energy out of you. You want to make sure that you're surrounding yourself with positive people and um, positive information. Kendra Hall gave us a, a seminar on storytelling, and it was really about how, how you present yourself and how you can make it intriguing and interesting and uh, compelling and not make it sound so much like a sales pitch or a recruiting pitch. Um, think of yourself as an Avon source of information. Um, maybe you even want to widen that out and be a, a beauty expert or a skincare expert. There's Ava here. <laughs> this is uh, this is truly working from home, getting uh, interruptions from kids and and everything else. I'm always running around crazy trying to get everything done. Um, but anyways, you want to practice your story, your Avon story. Uh, it should have, you know, maybe some struggles. It should have some goals and some excitement. Um, maybe it has a funny story that goes inside of that. Really uh, practice on telling your Avon story. Um, so that it's entertaining and intriguing and not necessarily a pitch to come and join you. Um, when you talk about things as a story, it's more exciting and people want to listen to you. Um, also think about that when people ask you about products. Um, instead of going and, you know, giving the exact ingredients that are in a product, I might tell my customer about how my mom uses it and really loves it. Um, so relate to people by telling stories. Um, also look up Kendra Hall on, on YouTube and on Facebook as well. You can follow these people and still get the same messages that we received at uh, RepFest. Um, you can also, something I do like to do on Facebook is you can star certain, certain people so that you see their posts first. So I do that with a lot of the motivational speakers that I follow. So that's the first thing I see in my newsfeed. Um, you don't want someone uh, whose car broke down and is angry being the first thing that you read on there, right? So uh, we have to make sure that we're filling our minds and our attitude with positivity. So Wild Country 50th anniversary is coming up. Um, and I want to go to YouTube here and show you this uh, clever little video that they put together featuring um, our CEO, Scott White. 
let's see. I loved how they uh, put into place these cute videos. Uh-oh, hang on, let me start it from the beginning. Okay, maybe the videos aren't going to work so, <laughs> so well. <laughs> okay, shoot. All right, well, I'm not going to mess with that. Um, I don't think it's streaming fast enough for you guys to see it. So um, go to my YouTube channel um, and watch those videos. Um, they were really cute and added uh sense of humor and entertainment to to the whole show um so wild country is it's its 50th anniversary and your customers can buy this uh limited edition decanter coming up in campaign 20. All right, so Avon always does giveaways and at national conference, they always do it big. So um, last year we got to see Georgiana Hayes earn, win a trip to Tahiti for two. And uh, this year we were able to see Irma earn Sorry, I'm used to saying earn, but in this case, it really is winning because it's just luck. Um, so she won this Mini Cooper that is all uh, decorated for Avon. So that was really cool to see. Um, a lesson learned when you're at events that you never leave the room when they're going to do a giveaway because if they call your name and you're not there, um, they pass you up and they move on to someone else. So. Um, can you imagine if you were going to win a car and didn't win it because you weren't there? So always make sure that you're around for those fun raffles. The Drive Like a Boss uh, incentive is starting campaign 20 um, through campaign 25. Uh, so one of the biggest questions I've heard uh, with the change in district managers is um, how am I supposed to connect with local people? Um, where am I going to learn? You know, how do I network with other Avon representatives? And uh, the answer is that they're going to be coming around with nationwide workshops um, so in September, they're going to be doing Drive Like a Boss workshops in 48 different locations um, around the U.S. So make sure that uh, you can attend one of those. Um, and you can win one of these cars. They're actually in uh, different Avon makeup colors. So they were inspired by some of our lipstick colors and then some of our glimmer sticks as well. You can earn entries by attending one of those Drive Like a Boss workshops um, or by completing an Avon U online training course. Um, so I did go into Avon University last night and it still looks like it's the old platform. So I don't know when they're launching the new training site, but hopefully it is very soon. You can also earn additional entries uh, to win one of these cars by increasing your sales or adding qualified new recruits uh, or team members to sell Avon with you. Um, so there should be more information coming at the end of August. Make sure you watch your newsletters to see when you can register because uh, the last Boss Life workshops uh, filled up. And uh, so make sure as soon as you see that registration up that you go in and register. 
Okay, yeah, so um, I got this information straight from Avon that they're supposed to let us know at the end of August. Um, we do know that a lot of times information is delayed, so it very well could be September, but the workshops are going to be starting in September. Uh, will the social selling workshop be credited towards it? Um, my guess is no. I think that's um, a separate set of training, um, which I'll cover in another slide here. But I don't think I don't think it will count towards this incentive. Um, maybe you want to call customer service and ask that because I'm just guessing. I don't know for sure. So uh, there is a different color car for each region in the U.S. So it'll be exciting to see who uh, wins one of those. My advice to you is that our incentives are always based around having good sales and adding to our teams. And when we add to our teams, we want them to be qualified, which means that they place a first or second order of $150 or more. So instead of uh, just getting excited about these incentives and really boosting your performance during those time periods, always focus on building your sales and bringing new representatives onto your team. Um, and the best type of people to bring in are ones that you find yourselves. Um, those of us in leadership know there's a program called Alma where we can purchase leads, um, but Avon rewards us more for the ones that we bring in personally. Okay, so we have just launched the A box. Um, I'm really excited to see where this takes us all. Uh, the goal of it is to um, first to boost order size. So your customer is going to get an opportunity to get these products for only ten dollars at uh, when they purchase a forty when they make a forty dollar purchase. Um, so it's going to, one, uh, hopefully boost your average order size to $50. Um, and then, it, two, it's going to give your customer um, little, some of them are full-size products, some of them are trial size, but hopefully it's going to get them to try these different products that they may not have picked out for themselves, but they buy this set because it's such a great value and then they fall in love with the product and become a, a repeat purchaser from you. So this is a pro box. So it was picked out by Kelsey Dinahan and our expert dermatologist, Kim Nichols, uh, which both of them were guests at RepFest. So that was really cool. Um, I always see Kelsey and Kim in you know videos or marketing that Avon shares. I've never seen either one in person. So that was kind of a fun factor that they brought them in live at RepFest. Um, the e-boxes are going to be the ultimate order builder. So it, you want to stress what a great value they're getting. Um, so this set here is a $52 value for only $10. So um, as a good sales rep, we definitely want to share the fact that they're getting a huge value for just their ten dollars, um, everyone, uh, most women love a good deal and uh, have a hard time passing it up. So make sure you bring that up to every customer and get them addicted to our A boxes so that they collect all of them. Um, the cool thing about our A boxes is you don't have to do a subscription, um, and you know exactly what's coming in it. So uh, do your best to promote the A-Box at RepFest. That was when they brought in some, I think they were college cheerleaders and a whole marching band that came in. Um, so I have that video posted on YouTube as well. 
uh, go and check it out. It uh, was just exciting to have dancing and music and uh, different ways of making the pr presentation more fun instead of just a uh, screen a slideshow like I'm doing. <laughs> um, so there is nothing like uh, being there in person. So I'm really excited about this. Uh, one of our other guest speakers, um, and I'm drawing a blank on his name right now, but he is the CEO of Multibrain, and he is going to be giving us assistance and training in social media. He is uh, working with Avon to provide this Oh, there we go. Amy's helping me out. Uh, Scott Kramer. Thank you, Amy. Um, so it's going to be an eight-week webinar training series. Um, and what I really love about it is that you don't have to be there live. These will be recorded so that you can watch them at a later date. Um, what I found interesting is when you go to this website down here, uh, they have the topics of what we're going to be learning about. And one of them was about uh, advertising online. So uh, I'm going to have to uh, figure out what's going on with that because uh, the last we asked, they told us we weren't allowed to do online advertising. But uh, it looks like we're learning about it, so um, that tells me that rules may be changing for us, so that's kind of cool. He's also uh, going to do different topics with Facebook and Instagram. Um, so the first session is Wednesday, August 23rd. Um, this is the website that you want to go to to sign up for the training. Um, we got a sneak peek at Avon Holiday. Uh, be sure to, oh yeah, Lori saw it too. So yeah, I, my guess is that they're going to have to change the rules if they're training us on how to advertise. <laughs> um, so the Holiday Expo was really pretty. Uh, they had these white Christmas trees with lights on them. Um, and they showed us a video and all kinds of different gifts that we're going to be able to sell during the holidays. I do have a video on that as well as uh, still images. So if you follow me on Facebook, um, you have my permission to use those pictures um, for your customers. So I took pictures of the sl slides of the products coming. Um, so again, feel free to save them yourself and upload them for your customers to see. Um, I think they did a great job with packaging and bright, fun colors. Um, hopefully we're all going to have a kick butt Christmas, all right? Um, revamped Avon U coming typo. <laughs> Looks like I was in too much of a hurry. Um, I really just could not catch up this week, so uh, forgive me there that uh, I have a mistake. But anyways, um, Avon U is getting a facelift. Um, there's going to be better, helpful training. Um, it's going to be interactive, so supposedly it's going to be able to help you decide which training courses would help you the most. Uh, you're going to be able to earn badges for finishing certain training classes. Um, I believe there's going to be like a community feature to it so that you can interact with other Avon representatives on there as well. Um, I don't know a time frame for when that is launching, um, but I would guess very, very soon since it is part of that Drive Like a Boss incentive. This was another um, slide that we weren't given a ton of information on. Um, 
but it sounds exciting. So I still wanted to share it. I just am not really able to answer any questions about when it's going into effect or um, any of the real details on it. But the idea is that to encourage a successful first campaign order from one of your team members. So if they submit a $150 order in their first campaign, they will receive a credit to help cover their initial starting kit. So the bigger kit that they bought, the bigger the rebate will be from Avon. Um, all they really told us is that it will be a credit on their account. I don't know when that is starting or um, anything more about it besides the slide I have here. So uh, as soon as I get more information, I'll be sharing that with you. Um, Espira. So uh, originally, we thought we were going to be able to sell it in fourth quarter. Um, they are pushing the launch date back to January. Um, which will be good for us. A lot of people have health and weight goals after New Year's. They have those resolutions. Um, so we're going to be able to help them with our brand new wellness line. Uh, they have been in the making of this product line for a couple of years now. They have done uh, trials and I believe there's there is a council that is is testing and giving feedback as well. Uh, so we got a sneak peek at it. And for going to RepFest, um, we are given a three-month supply to try. So um, we, had, we were given the Restore line. Um, so that is a, a multivitamin. Um, one is geared towards women under 40. One is geared towards women over 40. Uh, and then there's also a men's essential line, which uh, Rob is taking too. So um, we'll see how we start feeling after we've been taking it for quite a while. Uh, the price range was not really discussed. What I've heard is that it's going to be somewhere to between twenty to forty dollars, um, we were also given uh, something to help get better rest, and then also a calming vitamin, uh, which is good for me because I'm always uh, hyper and got a million things to do. So um, we were given part of the Restore line to try. There is uh, two other lines that are coming out as well. So uh, one thing that I was excited about, it's uh, clean, nature-inspired ingredients. Uh, it's designed to restore and boost your natural energy. And we will all be able to sell it starting uh, January 2018. Um, if you are raising your hand and have a question, uh, feel free to type that in the chat box. Um, so here is the Avon promise, and I think it's important as well to bring up uh, that they did uh, confirm that new Avon does not test on animals, and they never will. So um, I'm always hesitant to respond to people asking that question, um, but Avon reaffirmed that they do not test on animals. So you can come back and say that to your to your customers. Um, yes, Ellen made a really good point that they did announce that we get full earnings on the wellness line. Um, so I didn't really know if we were going to get fixed or full. They're giving us full earnings, which means that um, you can earn up to 50% off um, or a 50% commission when we sell. And the beautiful part is that people uh, start taking this and notice the difference, and then they are a loyal buyer through you, and they keep uh, replacing that product. So here is Avon's promise to us that our Nutritional products will always be made with high quality ingredients, tested for purity, 
They will include simple ingredients that work and never any artificial colors or flavors and never any preservatives. And of course, we will never ever conduct any animal testing. So that is awesome. Um, they did have a little sample station set up that I never had time to reach. <laughs> um, so here's a little bit closer look at the three lines. Uh, the glow is going to help your hair, skin, and nails look and feel their best by preventing daily damage and restoring cells while you sleep. We have the restore line to get you back to a healthy balance by filling nutritional gaps, reducing stress, and enhancing restful sleep. So I have already uh, tried out the supplement to help reduce stress. <laughs> I haven't uh, tried the restful sleep yet. Um, something else that John Gordon said was, um, when you're blessed, you're not stressed. Um, so that's something I have to continuously remind myself because I tend to stress myself out. Um, so that's a good uh, motto to live by, be blessed, not stressed. So we can always turn things to, um, I, I think it's easier for us to turn things negative and see the negative in things first, um, but really challenge yourself and train yourself to look for positives. Um, even if, uh, you know, the, the positive is hard to find. Maybe it's a little buried and you have to think about that a little bit harder. Um, skin so soft samples, I do not know when those are going to be available. Uh, the boost line is to revitalize your body by resetting your metabolism, clearing out toxins, curbing hunger, boosting your energy, and providing nutritious fuel for life. All right. Yes. So Bryn is agreeing with me that she's the same way with stress. Um, I do think kids going back to school may help me a little bit with that, <laughs> um, but I'll definitely still take my supplements and remember that I am blessed, not stressed. <laughs> uh, and then I added a puppy on top of that, so um, I am self-destructing. <laughs> I bring a lot of the chaos on myself. So here's some really exciting news that Avon is going to be the official beauty sponsor of Pro Project Runway this season. So um, they are in season 16. Uh, you can tell I'm too busy because I've never watched the show, which I'm going to have to start this season. Um, Rob and I just don't really get uh, too into TV shows. Maybe it's because we still have... Uh, little kids and we're just always busy, but um, I'm definitely going to take the time to watch this. This is a 14-week sponsorship and I really think it's going to help bring in um, a different crowd of recruits and leads and people interested in selling Avon. So instead of uh, Avon putting in a big advertising budget, um, this is going to be a promotion to help people get interested in Avon again. And they are going to be uh, showing Boss Life commercials during, during Project Runway. Um, all the makeup that's used will be Avon. There's also going to be an Avon Beauty Lab that is going to be branded um, with Avon everywhere. So uh, check out your social media center. They should be adding posts in there for us to share this exciting news. Um, we were featured in Us Weekly, so it's uh, great to be able to share articles like that. Um, plan viewing parties. So invite your team, invite your friends and your family and uh, watch the show together and have some products on hand. Um, make your, your get-togethers and your opportunity meetings fun. 
Um, that's what people remember, and that's what makes them keep coming back. All right, Sarah made it. Yay. <laughs> Better late than never, right? Okay. Um, and yes, Lori's talking about the puppy cuddles and kisses are good. Those are good for my stress too. I think she'll help uh, with my anxiety. Um, I know, Sarah. So I threw this presentation kind of in there because I wanted Rep Fest to be fresh on my mind. And I think it's really important to cover all that we learned um, in such a short time period. And honestly, presenting it really helps me absorb it better, too. So um, be looking for maybe some more uh, midday uh, webinars from me. I'll probably do one like focus right on cruise like a boss. Um, I might do some smaller, uh, shorter ones that are geared towards just one topic. So hopefully that will help you guys. So tonight is the season premiere. It's uh, at 7 p.m. Central. Um, engage your customers. If it's too short notice, you can't have a viewing party, make sure you take pictures and share it on social media. So uh, the great part about social media is that you can connect with your friends and family even if it's not in person. Um, does anyone know if there will be a streaming online of the Project Runway show? I do not know that. Um, I did watch a, uh, a promo from the makeup artist. Uh, he was at, I think they were at Avon Corporate, but uh, he was on the Avon USA rep page and he was talking about the season, um, how it's all about diversity um, and they have different ethnic people there and um, really trying to reach a diverse crowd. So um, that's why Avon was so fitting because um, that's how we are. We re represent uh, men and women, uh, many different types and kinds, and we, we all have different backgrounds and ethnicities. So um, make sure you check that out. I'm excited for the opportunities that it's going to bring all of us. You can also use that as a recruiting tool. Hey, did you see Avon is the uh, official sponsor of Project Runway? Hopefully, it'll give us a new, refreshed image. Okay, so who wants to go to... Bermuda. <laughs> um, my announcement couldn't be as dramatic as Betty's because she had um, a loud cruise ship horn that kept going <laughs> when she announced it. Um, so again, I wanted to show you those videos so you felt more like you were there. Uh, definitely take the time to go watch them. Uh, they're really creative and cute. So uh, yes, that horn keeps uh, ringing in my head as well. So we all have the opportunity to cruise like a boss to Bermuda. The trip is April 28th to May 3rd. I uh, advise you, if you already have your calendar for next year, that you write in those dates and you put them in pen. We don't want pencil. Uh, we're committing that we're going to earn this and we're going to do what it takes to get there. Um, so they gave us a little lead time here. As we turn in campaign 18, this doesn't start till campaign 20. Um, so how can you earn? You can earn points through sales, through recruiting, through advancing and title yourself, or through helping your team members um, advance as well. All right, so Amy is multitasking, calling leads uh, as she goes. So um, I don't know why the background's flashing like that. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so how can you take advantage of this? You can share the videos. You can uh, share the images. 
really use all this news and incentive as a, a source of excitement to get people to want to join Avon. Uh, kids are going back to school. Things are going to kind of calm down here after summertime, and people may be looking for a way to earn extra money um, or just something to do to take up their time. So uh, personal award sales. So they Avon uh, looked at performance and they saw that we're all addicted to incentives so that our productivity shoots way up and then as soon as the incentive is over, I think it pretty much crashes. So that's why they're making this um, extended to a longer period of time. Um, I do see the advantage to that, that hopefully it keeps us motivated through fourth quarter and then into 2018. I, I do think it's going to be important that we ourselves um, keep track of our progress and stay excited because it is such a long time frame. We want to stay motivated and uh, keep building those points. Um, so you can get them through sales through each campaign. You can earn 100 or 200 points based on your sales. Um, so really go for 300 as a minimum for your sales. Um, recruiting from an Avon source. So uh, if you're in leadership, those Alma leads are not going to give you as many points as a personal recruit. Uh, so. A personal recruit is a friend, it's maybe someone who saw your Facebook post, it's uh, someone that came to your blog. So uh, personal means that you are generating it. Um, so when you get people to sign up, the second part of that is you have to help them get a $150 order placed in their first or second campaign. Um, and I shouldn't say help them, you wanna guide them and encourage them to get that successful order. Um, and then that will give you points towards the incentive. If they continue placing orders of uh, 150 or more, you will get another 100 points. Um, so I, what I don't know about that, and maybe someone can clarify, I don't know if it's been discussed uh, elsewhere, is if that's just a one-time thing for each recruit or if that's for uh, the every campaign after they sign up. Um, remember that, okay, Ellen says for every campaign. So that's awesome. So focus on personal recruits and helping them, encouraging them to get those $150 orders because that can, this uh, incentive is 13 campaigns long. So if you have a personal recruit, sign up in 20. Um, they can give you a total of 1,500 points just by uh, submitting successful orders through the whole campaign, uh, the incentive time frame. Your most points are going to be coming from advancing in title in leadership. So if you're unfamiliar with leadership, um, now is the time to learn because it's the best selling time of the season. It's the, the time where most people are interested in joining. Um, maybe they just want to join to get a personal discount on their Christmas shopping. Um, so do what you got to do to advance in title. Um, that should be your primary focus. Uh, and then if you have leaders below you, helping them also advance in title. Um, so I have uh, already put plans into place to try and help um, people on our team win this cruise or earn this cruise. So hopefully uh, you guys also, also have a plan in place to help you achieve. Um, so I have to order products to build up my inventory so I can sell them on the spot. Yes, that um, that is definitely one way. Oops, hang on. Okay, that's definitely one way to go about it. 
Um, if you focus on, oh man, how did I, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, it's messing with the chat window there. Um, so having products on hand is definitely something helpful, especially at holiday times, already putting together gift bundles. Um, make shopping simple and creative for your customers um, and that can really help you boost sales. So the cool part of this incentive is that they've added um, some rewards that you can earn along the way. So you can get the Avon Beauty Case, Avon Tote, Carry On Suitcase, um, and then a trip for one and a trip for two. So how many of you are going for 11,000 points, you're not going to give up until you get there. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Awesome. Um, if you haven't been on an Avon trip, uh, they really do a great job. Um, you always have to keep in mind how big of a group they're planning for because um, small things will go wrong and uh, you just roll with the flow and Avon is really good of taking care of anything that comes up. Um, but they really do a fantastic job of bringing to us top-notch vacations and prizes. Uh, some of us just went to Atlantis a few months ago, a couple months ago. <laughs> it feels longer ago. Um, but uh, it was an awesome vacation. You can, uh, if you only earn a trip for one, there's almost always a buy-in option so that you can bring a guest if you only earn one spot. Um, the best way to go about it is to win that trip for two. So um, definitely go for gold. Come up with a big goal of, hey, here, I want 12,000 points by the end. Break that down per campaign. Um, 12, let's say 13,000, because that makes the math really easy for me. <laughs> 13,000 would be 1,000 points every campaign during that time frame. So then just look back at those activities and break it down to come up with small achievable goals so that you can be on that cruise to Bermuda. Um, when planning for incentives, make sure you over, oh, you set your goal for about two times as what you actually need. Um, because all of us who have been in leadership and have team members know that unfortunately, no matter what we do, um, only half of them tend to work out. So um, that was some a piece of advice someone gave me when I was new to leadership. So definitely overshoot in your goals so that you can reach um, your, your goal incentive points. All right, so hopefully, um, you guys got an update on uh, the majority of the information that was covered. Um, Tracy, they, they are accommodating for uh, people with disabilities. So I would not, I, I actually don't want to really answer that because I don't want to give you the wrong answer. Um, but they are always asking if you need wheelchair assistance, if you have a disability, that's always part of the questionnaire or the registration process when we register. Um, and Shelly is sharing that she ordered some pink pom-poms to use as a selling prop. Cute. So come up with creative ideas. It doesn't have to cost you a fortune. Um, buy a pin, put a sign on your car, uh, put a, a little poster in your front yard. Um, just try to get yourself out there as much as you can. Always carry brochures and business cards and samples with you. Um, and make sure, yes, you do need a passport to go out of the country 
Um, so I'm going to say the answer to that is yes, you need a passport. <laughs> but again, um, I don't like to give specific answers like that. So always double check me. Um, but I'm pretty sure you would, yes, you would need a passport. Um, so if you guys, does anyone have any questions about any of the information we covered today? Okay, Lori already looked into it, and yes, you do need a passport. Uh, Rob and I went on a cruise about probably eight years ago. Um, it was when we were first married, and... Um, not very experienced travelers. So um, we had a room that was at the very bottom of the ship with a little porthole and we were on the very end of the boat and right by the motor. Um, so needless to say, Rob did not have a great experience. <laughs> um, I'm usually pretty easy to please on vacation um, because I just love vacation. Uh, but if this is your first time going on a cruise, I do know that you feel less of the motion by having a middle cabin towards the middle of the boat. Um, I used to be a travel agent for cruises as well. So you all know I've tried a lot of different um, careers and I'm definitely sticking with Avon. Uh, it's become my passion and I've been doing it for almost 10 years now. Um, my other piece of advice is if we're given the option to have a balcony and you can afford it, um, go for the balcony. <laughs> we were at the end of the boat. Um, it was swaying so much that the uh, drawers on our on our uh, dressers were opening and closing. <laughs> so I need to um, have Rob have a better experience this time so that we can continue doing cruises. Um, so I hope you guys uh, learned something new and are motivated to go out there and build your business. As I said, instead of focusing um, in on all the details of the incentive, if you focus on growing your business uh, through growing sales and through always adding team members, um, especially from, from personal sources, those incentives are just gonna fall into place for you. So um, instead of really changing up what you're doing, um, make sure that you're building those techniques and practices into your daily life when you're working your Avon business. If you have a full-time job, um, bring business cards and brochures with you and pass them out on your way home from work. So um, there's, there's always ways to share that we're Avon reps. Uh, we are our own promotional advertising department. So we want to make sure that we're getting the word out there, communicating effectively, and always providing a top-notch service. So um, that is all for me. Um, next week, I believe, um, I did have a call last night for new representatives. So uh, that is already posted on YouTube. And uh, next week on the 24th, uh, 8 p.m. will be, 8 p.m. Central will be my, my leadership call. So if you're excited about the cruise, you don't want to miss it. Uh, make sure you sign up for that. I'll post it in our group. I'm still trying to catch up with my life. <laughs> but if you're in your fa our Facebook group, you will uh, see that. So, yes, bring catalogs to restaurants, gas stations, when you get your nails done, doctor's appointments. Oh, I'm sorry, Patricia. Um, you're walking in on the tail end. Hopefully you have time to watch the recording. Um, Sarah says Walmart bathrooms. There you go. <laughs> um, get creative and stay excited about your business and the success will follow you. Um, I will talk to you guys later. I'm going to go uh, scarf down my lunch and...
Um, I don't know what else. I got too much to do that I can't even uh, focus on what I need to get done. But anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.